So, here's the reason why we're here, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. The, uh, Powerpuff Girls Design Dungeon episode got taken down via copyright claim. Now, I've already contacted the issuer, and have asked them why this is the exception to fair use, because it is a review. As for what happens now, well, I'm just going to let that run its course, and... The whole, uh, fiasco has made me think about a few things about Design Dungeon and where I want to take the channel. Now, there will be at least one more episode. There's one more because I want to do one last big one before anything else happens. But right now, I'm thinking that, uh, I should take the channel in a new direction, mostly because of just the format of Design Dungeon thus far. It's, it was fun for a while, but just the cumbersome nature of the ranking system has just made it a chore to actually make videos for it, simply because of the visual assets that have to be tweaked, retweaked, and then there's the entire ranking process in general. I have come to enjoy the more freeform nature of the video essay, so I'm thinking of going in that direction as opposed to just using character designs, and it does allow for a bit more, uh, a wide variety of topics as opposed to just focusing solely on character designs. Uh, again, the reason why a whole bunch of people wanted the Powerpuff Girls episode was because I talked about the 2016 version and how it worked with its art style, and clearly that one did something right because there are no longer any copyright claims on that, and it never got struck down. So, yeah, I guess I have a bit more luck with that. Now, am I any stranger to the copyright strike thing? No, I'm no stranger to it. It, uh, I think it happened with Nico before, or it was at least a limited release. I don't think it was a full-on strike. But nonetheless, the uh, copyright system of YouTube, uh, people have gone on about it for a while. It's, it's kind of busted. People can just claim it and your video is off with very little uh, recourse for it. Uh, because you either have to fight them in courts, or you have to just contact them, and goodness knows if they're ever going to bother uh, contacting you on the matter. Because I have... It's been a day, and I don't know if I'm going to hear back. I don't know how it's going to be, but in the meantime, things are going to continue as planned. Um, since the announcement was in the Powerpuff Girls video, I might as well tell you what it is. And I really... I've, I've been trying to watch this show, but I've been sitting on it and sitting on it, and I've only chipped away at a couple of episodes. I really want a good reason to watch Wakfu now. And this is the way that I'm going to do it. I'm going to sit down, watch the first two seasons, and do the last character-based, character design-based design dungeon. And we'll see what happens after that. Until then, um, I'd like to thank everybody who's stuck with me throughout the past two years. Design Dungeon became much bigger than I thought it would, uh, big enough for people to take notice of it, and I do like doing this YouTube thing, even if I don't, you know, even if I'm not big enough to, like, be profitable off of it. It's, it's a hobby, and I like doing it as a hobby. I just hate it when the copyright system of YouTube gets in the way and the video is no longer available, because I will take... I will take it just not getting monetized, because I, I don't make any money off of this anyways. Um, I'll take it being demonetized any day over it just being removed completely. And, like, if things just get dropped and I have to re-upload the video with a few clips missing, I probably will. But, uh, again, I'm waiting to see how this pans out. Sorry for rambling, uh, this was a bit of a spur of the moment video, so, yeah. I'll see you next time.